Hey, I just want to make this Content Samurai review because it's a software that I really enjoy using and it does a great job for making videos uh, very quickly but also very high quality uh, videos. Um, the nice thing about it is you can make, you know, if you're someone who doesn't like to uh, you know, have their face on screen but you want to produce a high quality video, this is a great way to do it. Um, the videos, you know, can be used for all kinds of different purposes. Mm -hmm. You can upload them to YouTube. You can put them on your own website. Um, you can put them on social media. Really, um, anywhere, you know, a video would go. These videos are uh, great for that. And so uh, I want to kind of just go over how it works and what you get. Um, so this is their, their home page. And, you know, you could you can have a, you know, start with a free trial. It's a seven-day free trial and if you don't like it cancel and if you like it continue on um, the pricing uh, they typically run at about forty seven dollars a month but they have lots of sales typically where you can get it for for less and I use Content Samurai um, I do a lot of freelance work and one of the freelance things that I offer people is making videos and so the videos I make uh, I charge clients $45, and so it covers the cost of Content Samurai easily for the month. And um, I've made enough videos, well over 100 of them, that, uh, well, probably close to 200 videos <clears throat> for other people that I have my cost for can Content Samurai covered for at least the next 10 plus years. So, great product. When you log in to your account, um, you know, it'll come up and it'll show you all the videos that you made before. So you can see uh, all the videos I've made for others and for myself. Um, and it's really super simple. All you do is just say, hey, I want to create a new video. And that opens up where you can choose what type of template so that you want uh, for the video. And so over on the left side are kind of the, the steps in the video creation process so as you can see right now we're on the template step and you can either create a video from an article that you have so you know you can use PLR or um, blog posts things like that uh, if you want to make a sales video it has templates for certain types of professions so plumber medical um, you know maybe chiropractor travel etc so and I, they're adding new templates all the time that's the other thing uh, video if you're doing a course um, online and then you know the square videos so these are the videos that you put on like Facebook or Instagram and then um, if you make videos f if you're either a real estate agent or you, you want to make videos for real estate agents they have several templates for that and again they're adding templates all the time so I typically just use one of these templates this is usually where I start um, I usually use this one actually quite a bit so we'll just select it and then this is where you can give your video a title. Uh, this is just for your own memory. And this is where you can just copy and paste in your, your text. So if you have a script, um, this is where you can put that in. I'm just going to maybe just jot a little bit. You know, this is a test video for example purposes, just so you can see what it does. And what I'd like to do is just put, you know, a line of text or a partial line of text on a slide because over here you got options of how you want the text to be they can either automatically fit it you can do one slide per sentence I usually do one slide per paragraph so every time you know yeah you put a enter in, in a new paragraph it'll just put that on there you can and then it'll do things automatically for you if you want it'll bold key it'll just select keywords to bold for you uh, to highlight so you can leave that checked or unchecked you can allow it to go ahead and select, you know, the video clips and images based on the words. Um, select the layout, add motion to the images, trans scene transitions, and animate the text. And once you're ready, you just click down here, create scenes for your video, and it goes down to the next step. And so um, the neat thing about it is it'll, you know, has a stock images and video clip of several hundred thousands of stock images and video clips and so you know so it's going off the key you know so it picks out a, you know two three four keywords from the text and then it picks either a clip or an image so at this step you can ask it to find media for you either clips or images or you can also 
upload your own. So you can upload a clip or you can upload an image. So you can see I've uploaded lots of lots of clips, I've uploaded lots and lots of images, as I've done work for people and for myself. Um, and so you can click on video, it'll search, and it'll load. Right now we're done images, so it'll upload images for video. And if you want to swatch it out, you just click on it and it automatically puts it in. Now, then you have options of what you can do over here with the text and with the and since this is an image, what you can do with the image. So as far as the image, you can have the image either do nothing, zoom in or zoom out, kind of a what's called a Ken Burns effect. And then with the text, you can select, you can see it automatically selected the word test video to be bold or a different color. I highlighted the word this, and so if I click on bold, it'll turn that yellow as well. You can underline parts, uh, I sorry, italicize, underline. You could hide the text if you don't want the text on there at all. So it will time the slide when it creates the video at the end and stitches all the um, scenes together. It'll time it based on the text, even though you're not seeing it. So that's really helpful. Let's bring it back up. And then you can also choose where do you want the text in the center? Do you want it in any of these positions? OK, um, so wherever you think it looks good. You got a big blank space over here, so in this slide it probably looks best over here and you can move the image somewhat you can zoom in zoom out on the image so you have options there and then you can you know say you forgot you wanted something you don't want a scene before this scene so you can add a new scene or you can add a new video clip that'll go before this now here's our second scene where it says you know for example purposes and it pick this video clip and that's the other thing when you hover over the video clip it will um, you know play it so you'll see exactly what it's going to look like but you could again insert something in between either an image a scene or a clip you can change this is the type of transition between scenes you can change that if you want or you can merge uh, the scenes together and again you can add things at the end as well um, next you can add voice tracks or just again moving down and you have options. You can have either just um, music only in the back. It does have auto voices, so you can choose different uh, based on location. So these are from the US, United Kingdom, Australia. Uh, auto voices. You can play the sample to see if you like it. And uh, you can record your own voice track. And this will record slide by slide, scene by scene. So you just hit record. You just speak the video. This is a test video hit stop record and then it goes to the next one and you can just record every scene as you go through or if you have maybe someone who's done a professional voiceover you can upload a voice track um, upload a file that supports several different audio files so once um, you've done that then you can hit preview it moves down into the preview section it builds the scenes um, and it's building the preview and in the preview section, you'll see when it comes up, you can add a watermark if you'd like, you know, which is essentially a little logo that you can put. So if you're doing a video for a company or if you want to brand it, you can put a logo into one of the corners. You can choose where the logo goes. You can choose the opacity, the size, etc. And then they have um, different audio clips in here and you can play the audio clip so you can hear what it sounds like. And then if it's the one you want, select it or no music if you don't want any music or you can upload music if you have music that you want to upload you can get you know free files a lot of times off soundcloud etc that you can use and then set the timing based on scene content so it'll automatically set the timing based on the the words that are in there or you can make each scene last for a set amount of time every single uh, scene you can adjust the music if you had some voice you can adjust the voice you can also manually adjust the scenes and so when that pulls up it'll let you basically move um, the timing it's, I don't think it's gonna probably let me do it because I only have two scenes in here but you oh, there it is so you could adjust the timing if you wanted to you know to stretch it out you can adjust where each of these go um, etc and then once everything is good you just hit generate your video and it'll go ahead and stitch it all together with any with any audio music etc and then when it's done it'll give you a link to download the video and it puts it out in um, 
uh, 720p right now. It's going to upgrade, I believe they have plans to upgrade it to 1080p in an MP4 video file. So it's super easy to make videos like this. Um, the software will do a lot of the work for you, and then you can make little tweaks and adjustments to it as you'd like. But I love it. I think it works awesome. If you'd like a free trial, you can click the link below. If you like the video I made, please like it. Subscribe if you'd like to get more videos like this. Um, but take Content Samurai for a ride. Do their seven-day free trial. Um, I think you're going to really like it. And if you have questions at all, please reach out to me and let me know. Thanks so much.